lovely to introduce myself. I'm um, Catherine Derbyshire. I'm a neuropsychologist and I've been working with the team for just under two and a half years. And my role um, into the service is, I suppose, in, in two broad spheres, which is firstly around um, uh, kind of cognitive difficulties, so memory, language, those sorts of problems that, that people with brain tumors may experience. Um, and secondly around the kind of emotional and mental health and, and kind of coping with <coughs> excuse me, the effects of living with brain tumours. So those are just kind of two areas that I mainly work with. So same as Louise, I've looked at the positives and then the concerns and the issues. Um, reiterating what um, my two colleagues have already said, I think one of the positives is the, the, the team that I work with um, are... <coughs> incredibly dedicated and there's a lot of um, knowledge and expertise and I think that everybody is really passionate about giving our patients the best service that we that we possibly can. Um, and again, with this has been said before, I think that there has been in the, in the last 18 months a huge improvement in the service that we can offer our patients with the start of the Macmillan um, therapies team. I, I work particularly closely probably with, with Hannah the OT um, because part of my, my job is to assess and understand um, the cognitive difficulties that people are experiencing and working um, with people to kind of help me mediate and compensate for those problems, potentially getting people back into work um, or just helping them with their daily life. And it has made a huge difference to me to be able to work with Hannah because she is a, she goes out and sees people at home um, and, and works with people on those everyday living tasks. And I think it has made a massive difference to the people that we see. Um, another positive is the, the psychological support services that, that we offer in Hull. Um, I work physically within the oncology health service. Um, and we're able to offer psychological support to people at all four levels of need. Um, that's kind of a way of sort of categorising kind of people's level of psychological and emotional need. Um, and we can offer really good um, support to people um, who are experiencing the, the, the difficulty of kind of coping with um, a serious and life-threatening health condition. And we also um, recently over the past year have had very good access to psychiatry um, so we can normally get people seen within a week or two if they've got um, if there's potential the need for kind of medical management of any psychiatric difficulties. In terms of concerns, I think inpatient rehabilitation isn't consistent across the region. Um, people who are seen within Hull get a really good service and because they're on site they get the, the, the service of the inpatient rehabilitation and also um, the service of the oncology team. If people go outside of the whole region, so if they're from Southbank for example, um, it feels a little bit like we lose touch with them um, and, it, and it isn't the case that, that because we can't give that input those people who are in neurological rehabilitation centres, but their, their, their oncological needs are being met and potentially their kind of psychological and neuropsychological support needs are being met in respect of the cancer and, and that kind of um, joining up of, of having a cancer diagnosis as well as neurological difficulties. This has been said before, um, I, I think staff in the NHS across the country work under um, high levels of pressure, which is increasing with, with cuts across the health service. Um, in our service in particular, our clinical nurse specialists are really the linchpin of the service. They're the first point of contact for patients. They're, if a patient has a problem, they ring Lynn or Louise, they will be living in Holly, who's just started. Um, and th there simply isn't enough of their time to, to offer the service that I know they want to give. Um, a problem that I think we, we do come across is a lack of understanding um, of the needs and, of brain and CNS cancer patients on non-specialist wards. Um, so again, it's about that overlap between somebody who has a cancer diagnosis, but people who also have ne a neurological condition with its associated physical, behavioural, cognitive, all those different types of problems. Um, so they're a group of people that have got very complex needs um, and, and 
any particular placement may not fully understand what the, the kind of the breadth of those needs. So they're looking after one bit very, very well, but they perhaps don't have the full knowledge of the, of the whole range of needs. And that's, I think, an education and training um, need, which, which you know, we need to look at more closely, carefully in the future. In terms of issues, this is um, from my perspective, um, one of my aims is to ensure that all patients with a low grade um, tumour get access to pre-treatment neuropsychological assessment. Um, there's, a, there's a kind of a longer gap often between diagnosis and start of treatment or surgery um, than there will be with a high grade tumour patient. Um, and, and kind of gold standard treatment really is to give people access to um, complete neuropsychological assessment so we've got that baseline of people's cognitive function and we can help them as well as possible going forward um, if and when they develop problems either through the progression of the, of the illness or through subsequent treatment that they might need. Something that I've actually just been talking to um, Helen about who's disappeared, um, <laughs> is ensuring that all people patients um, and their families are aware of the emotional support services that, that are available. Um, I think there is a, a bit of an issue in terms of people again out in the regions because potentially they have to kind of travel in but certainly within um, Holland East Yorkshire we have a fantastic um, service that we can offer people who have got a cancer diagnosis um, and, um, and we don't differentiate between um, kind of a benign tumour or a malignant tumour, I will see anybody with any um, brain tumour and, and we can um, really work with people and give them a very high level of support within the Oncology Health Centre. Um, I have had people say to me, um, oh I thought the health centre was where you got a bandage. So as people aren't always aware that the, that the health centre is about um, kind of psychological and emotional support. So I think we need to make sure that we're identifying people who are struggling with those aspects um, of illness and making sure that, that they get the help that they, that they need. Um, Louise mentioned the um, IT infrastructure and I think that's um, just something to mention. Um, and then finally education and awareness. Um, and I suppose that goes all the way from kind of pre-diagnosis to end of life, making sure that the people that our patients come in contact with um, really understand um, their illness and their needs um, because because as I've said they do have very complex and wide-ranging needs and it's about making sure that um, they get the best service possible. So thank you. Um, there's probably about 30 seconds for questions. Hello? Oh, thank you. Thanks.